Yo, what is popping everybody? Welcome back to JC. Before we start this video, I want to show you guys something. So this is my new lens. This is the Sigma Art 14 to 24 f 2.8. And this is going to be my new vlog lens. You know, the reason why you want to get a vlog lens is to get like the bigger perspective. But with the lens that I currently have or my old lens, like you can, you can zoom in, but you know, you can't like zoom out like that much. So when I like vlog, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of like not wide enough, but this is like a wide angle lens. So let's put this lens on my camera and let's see what the footage looks like. Boom. That's what it looks like. Wait, what? You don't see that much of a difference? Oh, what if I um did this? Ooh, look how wide this is. That's pretty sick, eh? Welcome to JCD. Roll the intro. If you guys are new to my channel, what's popping? My name is JC. I am a second year mechatronics engineering student at the University of Western Ontario. Before I continue, I just I just have to get something off of my chest, you know? Just fudge the coronavirus. Flick the coronavirus. Fork the coronavirus. I hate the coronavirus so much. It absolutely ruined all of our summers. And now a lot of like the old ways of doing things have to be changed, such as like online schools. Today is actually the first day of online university for me. So I was like, you know what? Why not vlog it so that you guys can see what's uh, popping in my life. I haven't made like a personal video like for a while now. You know, I made a couple of like Western vlogs, but like recently I've been talking about university tips and tricks, but like today I'm gonna be doing a day in the life of a vlog. Really not that much is gonna happen because you know, it's the first day, right? There's not gonna be like any Zoom calls, especially because a lot of my classes are asynchronous, which means you kind of like do it at your own pace. So the future of me really depends on whether I'm able to like, you know, study and not get distracted. There are no more in-class components or like lectures because, you know, a lecture hall is literally like a prime location for you know the virus to spread. I remember when I first went to Western during the first year, everyone got sick like beginning of any semester. I remember first semester, um, everyone was sick. And then I was even like sick for like a couple weeks. I literally thought I was gonna die, but you know, I was fine afterwards. But that was before the corona though. And then I remember start of second semester, it was like also like pretty bad, but like I didn't get sick. I think maybe like the first semester kind of made me a little bit more like stronger, made my immune system a little bit stronger. But anyways, I'm getting, yeah, a little sidetracked. I'm going to be doing a little vlog today. There's really not that much that's gonna happen. Um, I might just like kind of get organized with like my school stuff. I might also take a look at like the first couple of lessons from my schedule over here. And if you guys are wondering, this is what my schedule looks like. Bruh. It looks pretty rough, eh? I know to the people that aren't in engineering, like this is gonna look like a complete nightmare. Like I shared this schedule with like my friends and then they all said that they would literally die if they had like the schedule. But I mean, yeah, like, I kind of signed up for engineering, so I can't complain about, you know, my schedule. Like I kind of signed up for it. Like if I wanted to, I could have just dropped school and just like started a like billion dollar company, like like Bill Gates, but you know, I didn't. I'm trying to be an engineer. If you guys don't know what mechatronics engineering is, it's kind of like a combination of electrical system design, mechanical and a little bit of electrical. So basically it's robotics. It's not like mechanical, but it's not like electrical. It's kind of like, a mashup of both of them. Yeah, I like building robots, what can I say? So yeah, without further ado, I think I'm just gonna maybe like move the tripod like to the side and then we can get a view of everything on this table and then I'll take a time lapse or something. So let's roll the time lapse. Okay, cool. So I just grind it for maybe, um, just fix you guys. Okay, so I just grind it for maybe like three to four hours, you know, towards the beginning. I was like grinding pretty hard and then after, it was kind of hard to like stay focused because like I was starting to get a little bit tired from studying. 
So yeah, I just completed the first week of electric circuits, um, the lectures and stuff. So I did do quite a lot of things in the past, maybe like three to four hours. Let me just show you. So I just went through like a bunch of online lectures that my teacher posted and um, took a couple of notes over here. And uh, yeah, that's actually a lot of stuff. I was gonna make like an entire lesson plan for like next week, for like the week coming up. But you know, a lot of things aren't like planned that that much yet like zoom lectures and zoom calls um quizzes tests like those aren't like set in stone yet so um we're only going to find out in the future right now i guess i'm gonna start to take a look at my other laboratory like whatever 2212 is or 2214 because apparently i do have a lab so yeah so far it seems like it's not too bad for electric circuits we just like kind of reviewed like kirchhoff's like lots like easy stuff online school is really not that bad because i feel like if you're doing school online like you don't have to worry about things like you know transportation you don't have to worry about commuting to class and like waking up early. And you know, since a lot of my classes are asymmetrical, asymmetrical, asynchronous, um, to be honest, I would kind of prefer online. Like some of you guys might disagree with me, but I kind of like online because, you know, a lot of the stuff that we're doing, it's asynchronous, which means you can kind of go on and learn at your same time. And you know me, right? I'm a night owl, so it's kind of hard to like wake up early to go to like those 8.30 classes. Like I remember last year, materials were one of those courses that it was just so hard to like wake up for. And even if I did wake up for it and I did go to the materials class, um, it's like really hard to like stay awake. I don't really drink coffee, Monster, or anything of that stuff. So um, yeah, it was kind of like tough to like get through like the early classes, but now um, I could like sleep in a little bit more and then just like work until like later on to kind of like compensate for the fact that I'm you know, a night owl. It just makes me so much more productive. Also because I'm not on campus, I don't have to worry about walking to class, commuting because like, let's say I have a lecture that's on the other side of campus. I have to like commute for like 15, 20 minutes. You know, that's like a lot of time wasted, right? Like in tough faculties, like that little bit of time can mean a lot more time studying. Also because I'm at home with my family, I know you guys might think like, oh, I'm such a baby, but like I have my family to like cook food for me to like make make snacks, dinners and things like that. So um, I don't have to worry about like cooking now, but you know, way back in first year when I did live in res, you have to like, you know, cook and you have to like go do like all that stuff, wash the dishes, yo, especially washing the dishes. I remember that took so much time, but you know, since I'm home, I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff now. Honestly, online university is also not too bad because I feel like if I did go back onto campus, I would be so distracted. Like I remember first year, it's really easy to get distracted. Like when you're in your res and then, you know, people from your floor, they like walk around and they come and they talk to you and then it could get like, pretty distracting pretty quickly. But of course, those are like good memories that I'm never gonna like forget. Like it's really important to like have that, you know, interaction with your other like roommates or floor mates. But at the same time, when I'm home, it's like really easy to like focus now since I don't have like other secondary distractions that could potentially take away from my study time. A lot of my friends, a lot of like first year students, they did go back to Western um, to like study there. When you're on campus and you're interacting with so many people, it's like a prime location for the coronavirus to spread, especially like if people um, like go to parties, like of course a lot of universities don't condone partying during Rona season, but I mean, you know, students are students, right? They wanna like have fun, they wanna like party, but think about it, if um, like a hundred people are in like a tiny little like house, then if one person catches the coronavirus, then like a lot of people are gonna get it. To my friends that watch my videos that are on campus, like I hope you guys stay safe and you guys are well. I wanna see you back on your feet in one piece. But yeah, definitely wear a mask, hand sanitizer, don't touch your face. If you're feeling sick, then you know, don't go out, don't like, don't like party, stay home. Yo, my electric circuits prof seems like he's a really chill guy. You know, I've always said this, but like good teachers, good professors should really be praised because you know, they can really make or break a course. Oh, so and so. Like teachers that are really passionate about their jobs, that are really, you know, they're really energetic. Like I really, I really appreciate those teachers like a lot. So to my electrical circuits prof, thank you. Hey guys, so for the past little bit, I've been going over a couple of like course outlines so that I can kind of get organized and make a calendar so that 
you know, I can follow it and actually like, you know, meet the requirements of like courses and stuff. Looks like the sun came out to like kind of greet us. Cool. Finally some sunlight. Yo, it was so gloomy this morning because, you know, pathetic fallacy, you know, people are starting school. So it's like kind of sad, but I mean, you know, sometimes good things have to come to an end. I just feel like this video is like missing something. So um, I think I might go and like bug my mom and uh, let's go tell her some dad jokes. Reason why I'm not telling my dad is because he's like out for work, but my mom um, is home office. So let's go tell her some dad jokes. Yo, what's up, mommy? Hi. What's up? Okay, I'm gonna tell you some dad jokes. Let's uh, uh, So do you know what dad jokes are? Okay, may, you might not know because you know, you're a mom, right? I mean, like mom jokes. What do you call a fake noodle? A fake noodle, like noodle, an impasta. You get it? Im like imposture. <laughs> oh, so it's so bad. Okay, my delivery was so bad. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good. This is How do you organize a space party? How do you organize a space party? You plan it. Yeah. You plan it. Yeah. Like plan it. You get like Saturn, Jupiter, like Uranus. Why are skeletons so calm? Good try. Because nothing gets under their skin. Bruh. Because, you know, you know skeletons don't, don't have skin. So I'm on this like website right here. Oh, this is a good one. You're like this one. Why are spiders so smart? Because they can find anything on the web. <laughs> <laughs> are you, you, you like that one? All right, all right, last one. And then I'll let you get back to what you're doing. Do you want to hear a joke about toilet paper? Never mind, it's terrible. Ha! Got it! You, you get that? <laughs> you get that? Yeah. All right, so thank you to Jason's mom. That has been dad jokes with Jason's mom. I think now, oh, the sun's like kind of going down again. Okay, let's just wrap up this video. If I continue to like study, you're just gonna see more like study time lapses. So I guess I'm just gonna end it here. If you guys are new to this channel, what's popping? My name is Jason. I make videos about my university life as well as with photography and filmmaking. And if you guys know me, I love over editing my videos for some reason. Like it takes so much work. Like, you know, my AirPods video, like the one that got a lot of views, that video took like 10 days to like plan, shoot, edit, and like post and all of that fun stuff. It took 10 days, that's, that's a long time. But if I'm trying to make videos and study and get good marks at the same time, I'm gonna have to sacrifice one thing. So I think I'm gonna sacrifice the, the production of my videos like I'm still gonna post like good content but I'm not gonna like over edit them like I did with my airpods video for example so yeah click that subscribe button click the bell beside the subscribe button and also uh, like this video also please remember to stay safe and don't catch a case of the corona peace